Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to show you one of my very favorite features about Sublime Text 2. This is an add-on called Package Control, and what Package Control is, is it allows you to browse a catalog of all sorts of different packages and extensions for Sublime Text 2 extremely easily, and there's all sorts of great stuff from uh, different types of code coloring to uh, code completion you have like if you're working in drupal there's drupal snippets and stuff like that or you can even download themes there's all sorts of really great stuff and it almost is like too much to know about uh without just like going through and looking at some of them so we're going to get started with installing sublime text package control so the site is wbond.net slash sublime underscore packages slash package underscore control. I'll try to link to this page in the video comments so you can check it out for yourself. So we're gonna click this install button right here and this is gonna give us some instructions. We have to take this little bit of text and we have to uh, paste this into our site or into our, uh, I'm sorry, into our application. So you can follow those manual instructions if you'd like, or you can do it the nice easy way. And you press control and tilde, and you can get this dialog window to pop up. So here I'm gonna to go to my sublime text, I'm gonna do control tilde, and this line pops up down here. I'm gonna paste this bit in here that they give you. I'm gonna hit enter, and it says please, uh, Please restart Sublime Text to finish installation. All right, well, I already have it installed, but I'm gonna quit this anyways, just so you can see. And now let's load up Sublime Text 2. And cool. So how do we access package control? Well, you can click around here. You can see, uh, you should see this package control button right here. Um, if we click this, it opens up this menu. Or you can do it the computer shortcut version and you can do command shift P and then you can start typing P for package and you'll have some different options here. There's package control, add channel, add repository, disable packages, discover packages, enable, install. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna find install package because this is where the listing of available packages are. And you can see just from here, there's all sorts of different stuff. Um, for here's an action script three um if you're using action script three if anybody is anymore um all sorts of great stuff and you can really just go i mean it'll spend a, you can spend forever looking at these different uh packages now there's just so many different ones here's even adreno snippets if you're using adreno or um just really great stuff in fact i'm going to be detailing a lot of these packages in further tutorials uh but just know that this li list goes on and on and you can really just click through these and find something really cool. Well, let's find something we want and install it. So I found this a this command, this terminal command, and this one lets you launch terminal from a specific file uh, that you're on and it's gonna take you right to that, uh, that, that current file or the project root folder in terminal. So I'm gonna click the enter to install. You can see this little message at the bottom right corner. It says package terminal successfully installed. So now you might be wondering, well, how do I, how do I use this? Um, well, one way you can see this is you can go to package settings and you can find your package and then you can find the key bindings, the default key bindings. And these are gonna tell you what the commands do. So open terminal project folder um, is super shift alt T so super is actually the button with the windows on it if you're using a windows computer and if you're on a mac it's the command button so we're going to do command shift t on a file and it's going to open it up so let's go to our local xml file this is just a file that i had opened from a, a magento tutorial that we're doing i'm going to do shift command t and what we should see is terminal looks like it's popping open for us and here it is and uh, if I do an ls in terminal, it's going to show that I'm in the directory where the local XML file is. This could be extremely handy if you're using terminal a lot and you wanted to go back and forth between, uh, let's say you need to run some commands or something, uh, but this is really great. Or maybe you have SAS and you wanna tell SAS to watch this directory or this file. Um, so this is just one of the many, many packages 
for real. It will take you forever to get through them. So check them out. Uh, let me know if you find any really cool ones. I'm using a lot of uh, SaaS based ones and stuff like that. Uh, Coffee Script added all that stuff. Um, but there's some, you know, just let me know if you find any that are worth are worth noting. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions about this or any comments, you know, feel free to leave a comment in the video, or you can contact us at Twitter at Level Up Tuts, or we're now on Facebook. We have a Facebook page you can reach us in, or uh, me personally at S Tolinsky at Twitter. So as always, thanks for watching.